Plinto allows you to add scrolling areas to your screen really easily. You just have to select some layers, some groups, and then make them scrollable. And then you can also control the scroll direction, the scroll bar color, and also if the scrolling is paged and all other cool stuff, if it's bouncy and stuff like that. So for example here, I want to make this uh, the home screen of this uh, prototype. I want these three images to be scrolled horizontally. As you can see here, there are three images. I want to be able to scroll horizontally, but not only that, but I also want them to be uh, a snap to, to the size of the page. So I can just select this group, and then here in the group options, I have the ability to make it a scrollable here. So I'm going to make it a scrollable horizontally, and then I'm going to enable paging. And let's preview it. See? works like magic. And as you can see, only that group with the images is what's scrolling. The rest of the elements are by default just static. So that's cool. Now I'm going to create a quick link to this screen. I'm going to do a fade in. And then here I want to make this group vertically scrollable, but I also want to have a different group inside this group, a nested group that scrolls horizontally. So let's start by making this scrollable vertically. So this group, I'm going to go here in the option scroll. I'm going to make it vertical scrolling and I'm going to preview it. I'm here, let's go. And now I can scroll vertically. It's pretty cool. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, but now I want to make this scrollable horizontally. And I can do this by selecting, double clicking here. And now I'm going to this a nested group, I'm going to make it horizontally scrollable. So I'm going to, first of all, this layer, I'm going to make it a group because single layers you cannot make it scrollable unless they are a group. So I press Command G, and now that it's a new group, I'm going to change the name to horizontal. horizontal scroll. You don't have to do this, but I like to do that. And then here in the group options, I select horizontal scroll, and that's it. I'm going to keep it bouncy, and let's preview it. And as you can see, now it's a scrollable, but it also cuts here, it crops here, and it doesn't go all the way to the left. And that's because we haven't edited the crop of it. So here, I just am going to zoom in, and I'm going to say it is going to crop here at the edge of the artboard, and also here, this is going to be the size of the scrollable area. So I'm going to make it here, and that way it will bring the whole element to the left. Let's preview it. And now I'm able to scroll all the way to the left and all the way to the right. And that's it. You can make any group or uh, any element on your designs scrollable uh, with Flinto, which is pretty, pretty cool. You can make it paging like this. You can make it vertically scrolling like this. And also you can add nested groups that are independently scrollable too. Pretty cool stuff. Thank you.